That second sober thought. It's like you have these emotions that lead to decisions that are not in your best interest. And then you all of a sudden you think about it, it's like, why did I do that? And this is, you know, a prime example is like when you're having junk food because you're stressed and you're, you're halfway through a bag of chips and you realize like, what's going on here? Why am I doing this? Or even like you're really frustrated with your weight, for example, you jump into an exercise routine that's super intense. That was an emotional reaction. You didn't even realize you're doing it because you're upset. You're, you're, you're not doing it in a logical manner. You're not doing it with a clear, concise, logical mind. You're not having a sober thought when you're doing this. It's an emotional impulse. It's a reaction. And the question is like, what if we made better decisions in the first place? And the solution really is to try to institute some sort of a second sober thought and, and, and harness the power of a second sober thought. And that's sort of this moment of reflection or reconsideration after the initial emotional response. And it might be something like you get upset with, let's say, your weight, and you wait 24 hours before you come up with a plan to make a change. Instead of you know, putting on your shoes and going and forcing yourself to run 10K that same day. Or maybe it's like you catch yourself being a little bit stressed as you walk in the home and you take a moment to reflect and to reconsider and realize, okay, I'm not going to go straight to the pantry, straight to the kitchen to see what's there to, for me to eat. Right? So it's taking this moment of secondary thought, the second sober thought to, to help you make the right decisions, right? So if you're looking at food, it's something as simple as like pause and then act. It might mean, okay, um, I'm feeling perhaps a little bit hungry, but I gotta check, is this because I'm actually hungry or is it because I'm stressed? Is it because I'm agitated? Is it because I'm excited and I, I wanna keep this feeling going? And maybe this pause includes you know, going for a walk or meditating or, or checking in on your stress level or doing some sort of stress busting activity before you decide to eat. Then you can really be sure that it's not eating because of stress. There's another example, physical activity. You know, instead of taking this intense 90 day, 90 minutes every day approach, maybe you take a little bit more of a moderate approach. Maybe you build up to something. And I think that's the most sober way you can look at this. It's like, it's not a punishment. Exercise and activity shouldn't be a punishment. It should be something that you somewhat enjoy and you find pleasure in some way and you're building up that capacity over time. And I think one of the ways that to help institute the second sober thought is that you have to measure results and preferably at least weekly, right? And, and that way you can see the impact of your decisions in actions or perhaps your pause and decision not to act in a certain way you can see those results because you're measuring in and you're checking the feedback loop weekly right and this really helps you to stay on course it's helping you to, to make sure that you're you're doing the right things to get you to your result and really when you take a step back you breathe you reevaluate and you ask yourself has it been enough time for me to see the changes that I'm expecting? Like, am I doing, have I been doing my exercising for long enough to expect a reasonable amount of change? And compare that to something like the last year or six months or three weeks. Like, have you been doing anything prior to this? So the fact that you're exercising might be a start, but you might not have a realistic expectation to see a result, right? So always take this second sober thought, take a step back, breathe, reevaluate. Ask yourself, has it been enough time? Am I tracking the right kind of results? All the results, am I just looking at weight and maybe ignoring how my clothes fit, body fat, fat composition, the way I look, et cetera, et cetera. Like, are you looking at all the right things? Just as much as the inputs as well as the outputs. So, what I'm asking you to do is take a moment of reflection, take a moment of reconsideration, move away from this initial response, this emotional reaction, this emotional response to what's going on. And instead, pause and then act.